These are the scenes of destruction of Hurricane Ivan. It was a storm that became a benchmark for devastation on the central Gulf Coast. Hurricane Ivan started in the Atlantic in early September 2004. Moving across the Caribbean as a major hurricane, it took more than 60 lives in four different countries. It powered through the Gulf of Mexico to hit the northern coast as a Category 3, and then weakened, moving northward. A portion of the remnant circulation returned to the Atlantic to hook back into the Gulf for a second landfall in Louisiana. That was confusing, and not the landfall most people remember. Landfall of Hurricane Ivan right here, Gulf Shores, Alabama, after midnight, September 16, 2004. Some of the most intense wind was in the eye wall, and those winds translated to the north. Coastal damage was severe. A combination of record storm surge in some spots, extreme wind in others, and then tornadoes. It wasn't just a coastal disaster. Cities and counties 50 to 100 miles inland had wind damage, like Bruton, Alabama, and Atmore, Alabama. Over its life in the U.S., Ivan spawned a record 127 tornadoes, mainly east of its path, in feeder bands. I'm in Orange Beach, Alabama right now, pretty close to the Florida state line. This big empty lot behind me, it wasn't empty before Ivan. Before Ivan, there were buildings here, homes for dozens and dozens of people and families. After Ivan, the buildings were uninhabitable and later torn down. Up and down the coast of Baldwin County, Alabama, the scenes were similar. Buildings compromised, homes lost, lives turned upside down. The natural environment also was touched with a breach and Lake Shelby connecting it to the Gulf. I'm on the beach at Big Lagoon, just west of Pensacola. This part of the Florida Panhandle got 10 to 12 feet of storm surge from Hurricane Ivan. Across the water in the community of Grand Lagoon, three people lost their lives. They drowned. In and around Pensacola and the rest of the western Florida Panhandle, there were signs everywhere of one of the most powerful hurricanes to strike in nearly a century. Gulf Beach, Florida, before Ivan, and then after. West of the landfall, Mobile County, Alabama, had seven to eight feet of storm surge on Dauphin Island, with winds gusting to over hurricane force. Tree damage was common in Mobile County. In the United States, Ivan killed more than 60 people. It impacted 18 different states. At the time, the damage cost was $27 billion, putting it in the top 10 most costly hurricanes in the U.S. The name Ivan was retired. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.